Hi, I'm State Representative Norma Smith. I represent the 10th Legislative District, which includes all of Island County and portions of Skagit and Snohomish counties. Thank you for trusting me to represent you and your family in Olympia. I'm honored to work with you on the issues that are important to our communities. The 2010 legislative session began January 11th. It will run for 60 days. Once again, I serve as the ranking Republican on the House's Community and Economic Development and Trade Committee, the Assistant Ranking Republican on Agriculture and Natural Resource and the Audit Review and Oversight Committees. I also serve on the Capital Budget Committee. It works to fund critical infrastructure projects around the state. This year, we face challenges in the budget and other areas. I'll continue to focus on the needs of our communities, families, and the employers that serve them. Creating jobs and economic recovery must be the key focus this session. I believe the legislature must focus on removing the red tape that is holding back private sector job growth and retention. According to the Washington State Employment Security Department, our private sector has lost more than 160,000 jobs since February of 2008, while federal, state, and local government grew by more than 6,000 jobs in the same time period. This is unsustainable. Government jobs do remain essential to the well-being of our state. We can't function without our skilled law enforcement and teachers and others. But putting people back to work is the only way to turn our economy around. We must have policies in place that reassure employers that we're committed to their success and in turn to the success and prosperity of their employees. The bottom line is that when we have policies that support a healthy private sector job market in Washington State, the revenue will follow. The additional tax dollars generated by growing businesses and employed Washingtonians create the revenue we need to pay for essential government services, such as education for our children, public safety, services for the most vulnerable in our communities, and providing basic infrastructure necessary for our state to fully function. That's why I will continue to support Made in Washington. It's the House Republicans pro-job agenda this year that will help create and retain private sector jobs and does so without raising taxes on struggling businesses and households in the 10th district and across the state. I'm excited that three of my top priority bills are getting attention this legislative session and have strong bipartisan support. All three of them help our private sector. House Bill 2603 received a public hearing. It's a simple bill to reestablish customer service in our state agencies when working with employers who are trying in good faith to comply with state agency rules and regulations. It would give businesses 48 hours to comply with the rule without any financial or civil penalty, so as long as the violation doesn't endanger employees or the public in the workplace. My next proposal, 2604 would create a Skagit River pilot project that would allow a very small withdrawal, just one-tenth of one percent of fresh water for agricultural pur purposes from larger rivers prior to the water entering marine salt water. This process would comply with flow rules and regulations already authorized by our Department of Ecology. Agriculture is a critical part of our 10th district economy, a vital piece of our state's rich history and economy as well. I remain fully committed to any policy that will assist our farmers in Skagit and Island, Snohomish counties so that they can keep their doors open to farm open spaces and provide opportunities for future generations of farmers. And finally, I introduced House Bill 2460. It, does, it would um, provide the Washington State Department of Agriculture a better way to support ongoing organic certifications in this state. This proposal has already had a hearing. It was voted out of committee with unanimous support. As the demands for certified organic products grow in Washington, it's imperative that we do our part to ensure the process aligns our state and federal standards, giving farmers the tools they need to make a successful transition to certified organic production, if that's something that they choose to do, and provides solid, uh, good products that are organic that we can trust in our marketplace. I believe this is a time to work together. Certainly there are differences between partisanship, and we don't want to see that, but we do want a healthy debate. 
There are going to be different ideas, and as legislators, we must treat each other with respect and dignity. I want you to know that is my commitment. I welcome this discussion and an exchange of ideas. As always, I welcome your thoughts and comments. Hearing from you helps me to represent you more effectively and to be a more effective representative for our district. My Olympia office is available to assist you. We can also help you navigate state agencies. And I want you to know I always look forward to meeting with you and your groups and families as well. My contact information will be listed at the end of this brief program. It's really, truly an honor to serve you. Thank you. I'm Norma Smith, your state representative.